Welcome back to Stalker. I'm gonna take on the garbage head first. Bring it on! So true to its name, the garbage is filled with these garbage piles. They are heavily irradiated, and they're covered with anomalies. But if you go in quickly and head right back out, you can grab some artifacts. Also true to the moniker Garbage, everything you could get here is trash, and you really shouldn't bother trying to go for it. Yeah. At least not until you get, like, a hazmat suit. Then you can sort of handle it. But there's no, like, spoons that are secretly worth a bajillion dollars because they're from, like, the Aztecs that someone threw away because they didn't know what they were worth. Artifacts is just a term. No, 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 I'm just taken aback by Jake's idea of a spoon set from the ancient Amazon eras that somehow found its way into the hands of a collector that went all the way to Russia back when Ch Chernobyl exploded and it got blown all the way into the garbage where it got heavily irradiated and become an artifact for us to take. Uh, yeah. <laughs> You're in deep shit. Oh, they're not wrong. Luckily, I'm right there. Oh, I almost ran into that. Oh, wait, hang on. I see another artifact, and I think it's a really good one. You you guys can handle this for another minute. Oh, no, oh, no. Hold on, I found the Aztec spoon. <laughs> oh. Oh, this is gonna be stupid. Just making sure. Ooh, a meat chunk. Wow. Oh, what's the meat? Is a meat chunk a better stone uh, blood? Yeah, it's a better healer. Okay. Here, be my friend. Why did you go for the blood? Everyone's dead now. I died two seconds ago, if only you got here earlier. Oh boy. Luckily, bandits are easy to tell because one, they shoot at you, but two, they always wear black. The only acceptable reason that you were late is if you found a meat chunk. Well, I've got good news for you, buddy. Thank you. I don't even think a meat chunk is an acceptable reward. <laughs> <laughs> At this point in the game, it is. Yeah, maybe. Possibly. I understand. My sacrifice was worthy. Pray for me with your money. And your meat chunk. Pray for me with your meat chunk sounds really gross. <laughs> I was about to say meat sack, so I mean, it's probably the better of the two. Oh, what the fuck? No! Mm. <laughs> mm. Well, got another good artifact. A sparkler. Wearing that does reduce your resistance to electric anomalies, but it increases your endurance, which reduces the, well, reduction of your stamina when you're running. Wow. It makes you less of a tired baby, and I really enjoy them. And you got one this early? What the hell? Yeah. What kind of Russian deities did you pray to for this? Ukrainian. Right. I don't fucking know culture. Ukrainian deities. That's much more reasonable. But then Russian deities. Be sure to come here into this train car, because there's a nice stash of stuff back here. Including, I think, a piece of armor. I think it's just a bandit suit, actually. Yep. So I'm probably so late to the party that half the people left, but a lot of the loot is randomized in this game, huh? Sort of. I feel like stashes will always be specific items. What people are carrying will be different, but... Usually it's a random selection of a specific set of stuff, like bandits won't be coming at you with rocket launchers generally. <laughs> That'd be cool if like every now, just every now and again, you have a slight chance to get a rocket launcher toting bandit that you have to kill. I ruined the world with this rocket launcher, I I just, I'm a sucker for games with randomization. I love, I love being able to play the game a whole bunch of different times and get a different experience. That's why I like roguelites. That's definitely been a trend lately. I know Link to the Past has a randomizer, Super Metroid has a randomizer, Final Fantasy Tactics tried to have a randomizer, and then it just kind of exploded on itself. I could see Stalker definitely having that, just like some chucklefuck bandit comes in with like an M16, and you're <laughs> like, what the fuck? No! So 
So I'm actually heading the wrong way. Normal. Agriprom is not in this direction, but we're supposed to be heading towards the Agriprom Institute. But I want to explore the garbage a little bit more. Message, help, I'm dying. I just mean I have cancer. There's nothing you can do. Then I realized, wait, where's it coming from? Help, I'm dying and moving very quickly. <laughs> I'm dying of exhaustion. Oh, it's a bandit. Not a very good trap if you immediately start shooting at me. Now I'm actually dead. Oh no! <laughs> Help! Now, this area is kind of cool because you can see some neat Soviet propaganda in the area. Yeah. Like real propaganda? Uh, statues and shit, yeah. Oh, cool. Like, the, the big centerpiece here is the typical hammer and sickle. It's cool. The layout of Chernobyl in the game was based on, like, the developers actually went to the exclusion zone and took pictures. So it is based on real locations. Heavily compressed because the game could not be actual size, but it's cool anyway. Oh yeah, Stalker Call of the Wild. Let me just get my Stalker with his paraglider and glide all the way to Agripom. Damn all these mountains! A Breath of the Wild is the game I'm thinking about, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't know what Call of the Wild is. Isn't that something shitty? Like a movie? Or a bad game? I don't know. Book? I don't know. I'm, I don't know culture. Look, I just say words and what happens afterwards, well, we just deal with it. <laughs> you act like I don't know this feeling. <laughs> it's Jacob you're talking to. Now, there is an artifact over here. I thought I'd saw one. For a second, I thought what I had actually seen was that anomaly, but there really is one here. It's another meat chunk. For whatever reason, when you get close to it, it sort of disappears. Good video game. The magical, magical meat chunk. <laughs> this game is very well programmed. It doesn't have a million bugs. I mean, like, it's still there. It's just this wave that it releases gets super small and you can't see it anymore. Oh, that's another way it's like Fallout. <laughs> <laughs> or could you edit in an actual rim shot for me, please? <laughs> we'll see. Yes! Don't break kayfabe! <laughs> No, look, I'm proud of my editing skill. I'll bring it up whenever I damn well want to. <laughs> oh, yeah. You better hire me. I could put a rim shot in this part of the video. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone else can suck it. I'm better. So this is Duty. We mentioned them briefly. They're in control of this particular checkpoint, and they're not going to let me through at this point in the game. I need to go to Agriprom first. And they're dicks. Sadly, they don't have anything that I can steal right now. I need to come back after I've met some dead people. And then maybe there will be a stash there. Buzz off, stalker. We don't let every loser go through. Could you fuck off, maybe? Buzz off, stalker. All right. We don't let every loser go through. <laughs> It uh, looks like we don't have the plot to let us through, I guess. Nah. Mm. Bandits are still here, huh? And corpses aren't going anywhere. The influx of open world games in recent years has gotten criticism, but man, I just like it when the game doesn't tell you that you can't go somewhere. Oh yeah, like I agree. That's fun. Yeah. There are still invisible walls and shit, but... Those are the worst. You have to go pretty far out of the obvious path to get across them, though. Also, I wouldn't call them invisible walls, per se. I'd call them crippling radiation. There's some of that. There are actual invisible walls, depending where you are. Hmm. 
Yeah. Fucking, if, if there's not, like, literal invisible walls in the games, there's usually just a gimmick to hide the fact that there are. I'd rather have the gimmick than an actual invisible walls, just because, like, at least they put some effort into justifying why the fuck you can't go here. <laughs> that reminds me. If anybody remembers the game Jaws Unleashed, it's a shitty game that <laughs> I loved when I was a kid. And they, it was pretty much Grand Theft Auto with Jaws, that's why I liked it. But How do you... Um, I'm sorry... Go ahead. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt, but how do you do GTA with Jaws? Do you just have Jaws running around New York stealing cars and shit at Ex gunpoint? Yes, High Wang, that's exactly <laughs> what the game is. That's what's called a mod, Jacob. Uh, you, you just swim around the ocean and do missions, usually involving just destroying things or eating people, but there were invisible walls of sorts because it's an open world game in itself. But, like, the invisible walls were currents that were created by large animals like either a blue whale or a whale shark. And they couldn't hurt you, but they still scared the shit out of me when I was a kid. I don't know why. I was like, oh, don't get close to the blue whale. You said this game was Jaws Unleashed, right? Yeah. The only thing I know about this game is that at one point in order to, like, stab at um, a certain aquarium... Jaws just outright kills uh, a giant orca whale, oh, splits yeah. it in half right down the middle. He kills Shamu. Yep. Yeah, exactly. It was at a it was at a like Sea World like aquarium, and you just grab this orca by its midsection, dive in the air, and chop it in half in front of a crowd of people. That was the best Sea World show ever. Damn, that's a military air assault force. Our guys are there. They played that at Gextra Life this year, and it was pretty fantastic. Let's go, now. It's a fun game. Now, back on topic, why are we following this Joker? Because he wants to go and kill some military, and that sounds good to me. Got another meat chunk? That was a stone flower. Uh, this area is littered with artifacts. And thankfully, somewhat light on anomalies. <laughs> That's a new one. That's a goldfish. Hmm. <laughs> this is gonna sound very weird. I've never seen that artifact. They have interesting names. <laughs> the snack. The artifact that smiles back. <laughs> the artifact that radiates back. Fuck! <laughs> I just thought of the dumbest shit. I just. When you said that, my first thought was, I like my women like I like my stalker, filled with artifacts with few anomalies. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> hey, <right. laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, Thorn, do you go down into the creepy tunnel? Not right now, but I will later. Okay. Let's enter the fray. Let's fuck some shit up. If you're having trouble telling who's military and who's on your side, just keep in mind, if they're shooting at you, they're not on your side. They all look the same? Roughly, like, they're all wearing all of drab and what have you. But the reticle will turn red if you're facing an enemy. If they're not an enemy, it will actually linger for a bit and then turn yellow or green. Jeez. This game has so many... Like, I'm glad it's fun. I assume it's fun. But there's just so many bad choices. You want to know the real bad choice? Thorn leaving all that AK ammo behind. Yeah, I realize that now. I wasn't using an AK at the time. The water supply of this place is just going to be ruined because it's just going to be completely lead poisoned. So many bullets. Is that why bullets use lead? So it poisons you? Isn't that like against the Geneva Convention? Uh, 
No, that was just a bad joke, but I think the original bullet, which was like the uh, whole ball thing that people would use in muskets, was lead just because A, it was more malleable than the polymer metals that we use nowadays, and B, it was readily available. I don't think there was any sinister thing about it, because we... Because I don't think in any capacity that the lead would be enough to, like, poison you so much as blood loss. Yeah, you'd probably die from other reasons first. All right, well, I killed one guy, so that counts as me helping. I did it! Now you gotta save Mole. Oh yeah, I remember Mole. He's just in the area. I'll take your lunch. Yes. Sandwich. Yum, tuna. Ugh, sour cream and onion. The fuck is this? Yes! Yes! Yeah, wait, who did it? What? what? What just happened? I stole his kill. Basically in this game when you have faction fights between say bandits and stalkers or like duty and other goons, if there's just like a dead body of, around and somebody survived, an NPC will just casually walk up, say a witty one-liner in a, uh, I want to say Cyrillic, and then shoot the guy in the head. That's kind of cool. I'll show you the way. Bar bar bar. I remember seeing that for the first time, I was like, man, that's cold. Holy shit. Mole here is going to lead us to the real meat of this episode. He's going to show us a way out. And we need to get out of here quickly, because there are reinforcements on the way. A real meat chunk of this episode? Damn it, you stole my joke! <laughs> <laughs> I'll kill you! I'll do that again. And I'm not adding it for you either. Oh, man, I really screwed the pooch on that one. <laughs> you really screwed the goldfish. <laughs> oh, nice. Huh. You saw that ammo box. It had a black stripe on it. That means it's armor piercing. Ooh. Phew. All right, Mole. It's quiet here. Why don't they just the make finishing. all bullets armor piercing, like in real life? Or... It's underground around That's here expensive. But I don't know exactly where. It'd work. Be careful and good luck. Tell me your information quickly. There are guys coming after me right now. You can't actually go find Strelok's stash without Mole telling you. You'll just fail that part of the mission, but you'll still get the stash. It is possible to accomplish missions after failing a certain element of it. Now give me your lunch money. Wow, I just saved you, douchebag. Eat me. Now, they say that artifacts come from anomalies, or at least they're made in them, but they're not always at a place where an anomaly is. Okay, hurry. Hurry to the sewer. They kind of fixed that in the later games, but yeah, in the first one, they didn't know how to, you know, do that. Now be very careful in here. There are bandits waiting for me right in this room. As in, they already know I'm here. You say, fuck, buddy, oh yeah! Dude, you have like 30 bullets in your sternum. Just, just fall over. Nothing's worth this. Whoa, lordy. These grenades look goofy. They kind of do, yeah. They got like a finger. <laughs> Sorry. The concept of a grenade finger just makes me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> They're just perpetually going, um, actually. Pull my finger. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. That works out. Just a grenade forever giving you the bird. Reminds me of that strong bad email where he was asked if he could replace his hands with anything but hands. What would he replace it with? Grenades! You know, when I think Stalker, I think Jaws, I think Shamu, and I think Homestar <laughs> Runner. <laughs> oh yeah! One has invisible walls, one has gore, 
The other has <laughs> grenade fingers. Shamu is the one with gore. Uh, yeah. Well, it's not Homestar Runner. So there's an interesting bit that I do got to bring up since I only ever played Stalker Complete and never, like, core. Um, that weird staircase with the green shit is actually blue in, uh, incomplete for some weird reason. Like, they replace whatever that anomaly is with an electric one, and I don't know why. That is weird. I was hoping there was something in there. Now, there's a side path over here. Not up there, not at the ladder. This is where the electricity is in vanilla. And there's an artifact in there. It's kind of the same thing as that tunnel in the cordon. The electricity is moving. And I believe that's a better version of the artifact that I'm wearing right now. I'm pretty digging to death in three. Well, I was close. <laughs> in three. And then when I load back in, the artifact is just gone. God damn it. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know where it went. It's just like, nope, you only got one chance. What a crock of shit. So, like, that's one situation where you could see the artifact came from the anomaly, possibly, but. That's a bum rap, too, because one of the big problems I have in this game is endurance. I always just run into stamina super quick. And then these guys spawn in out of nowhere. I think they were actually further in, and then they heard you making a lot of noise. So they're just like, fuck's all that noise coming from? And then you just dome them with bullets. No, they literally weren't there. In fact, even though I'm shooting at them, and it wasn't silenced, they weren't moving, I think the game just bugged out again. But in one of the fun ways. And I thought, okay, maybe that triggers the artifact showing up. Nope. Also, all the way down that hallway is a shortcut to where I'm heading towards anyway. But this actually won't be the last time I come down here, so we'll have to see that next time. Can't get up there because the exit is only half lidded, which is like, no, that's still too heavy for me. Have you ever tried to manipulate a sewer lid, a manhole cover? Those things are heavy. That one looks like it's on a hinge and already open, though. This is a fun room. It's so weird seeing this place so green. Yeah, these are all, they're chemicals. Or at least they cause chemical burns. It's filled with anomalies and not many artifacts. That was a nice sound. Looking forward to meeting what made that sound. Uh, oh, well, that wasn't a good sound at all. It was a great sound. We fight, we're about to fight some big bad mutant monster. Got a new artifact. Oh. It's a better version of the thorn. It reduces radiation over time, but it does increase bleeding. Looks like it doubles it. Oh no, a paper cut. Oh no, I'm dead! <laughs> Curse you, urchin, you piece of shit! At least all the blood I'm losing is clean. <laughs> you put on the urchin and your nose just rockets with blood. Now one thing, as I was approaching that urchin, its name popped up. That's what happens when you hold down the button that picks up objects, their names will appear. So even if it's dark, you can still sort of see where things are. You have to be relatively close to it, though. Now I'm being cautious here, because I'm looking for my new friend. And you can actually see him. He's invisible. Oh shit, you can. I was gonna say with this 480p video, I doubt that, but... Now he's gone. No, he's no. not. Here he comes. Meet the bloodsucker. Oh. Whoa. He's a tough customer. He has a decent amount of defense and health. And he will wreck you. It's best to just keep running. Shotgun, surprisingly effective against him, though. Ooh, and I got his jaw. Surprisingly common. 
It's best to keep running, unless you're Thornbrain. Then fight it and you'll win. <laughs> best to keep running in that way he can't hit you. Oh, okay. I actually thought you meant just fucking book it out of there. At this point in the game, anyway. For the viewers at home, try to imagine a Cthulhu-esque creature, but also a vampire. Uh. Vamp Thulu. Just walking along, and then Squidface here just bites your neck. That's why you gotta protect your neck. Being cautious here, because that's the only blood sucker here right now, but it's not the last enemy. The military are down here. Not anymore. Wow, that actually killed them in one shot. Hmm. As long as you aim for the head. Yeah. I don't know, it just feels like whenever I try to go for the head, a bullet will just, like, veer off, and then Cliff is tricky. He's like, hey, what the fuck? And then he shoots me in the face. But yeah, I'm trying too. to remember... It was either a book or a movie that gave this idea, but some dude actively wore, like, shark diving equipment. <laughs> what are you... <laughs> You're slamming your fucking head against the wall. Stop that. That's what happens when you try to lean against the wall. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, marked one, known for his brain damage. I hear someone saw him. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I knew that sound of skull cracking against stone was familiar. You were saying? Uh, uh, yeah, um... Some form of media came up with the idea of using, like, shark diving equipment, like wetsuits with chainmail, for, like, zombie attacks and vampire attacks because it protects your neck. And if they can't bite your neck, they can't infect you. Hmm. But then again, if they, like, I, I don't know, stab you in ye face, that's not gonna help. <laughs> I was about to say. So yeah, if the zombie apocalypse does happen, rob sporting goods stores for the uh, diving equipment. It'll help in the long run. Hello. Bio. I don't know if it's because of complete or if I've just been playing on higher difficulties recently, but I feel like you should be taking way more damage per bullet and it's making me a little upset. <laughs> it appears that Thorn is just better than you at this game at every aspect. Well, <laughs> from what you've been saying. It just feels like whenever I've played the game, like, one bullet will bring me down to half health, and I'm just like, ah, fuck. Oh, this guy's taking less damage. He's finding sparklers. He's fucking... The son of a bitch found meat chunks! <laughs> meat chunk is actually quite nice. I wish I knew about that. This, however, is fun. We found Strelok's stash. And it is a proper stash, loaded with good stuff. Including. What the? What the fuck? <laughs> you, it looks like your pelvic thrusted it. Get out of my way. That is a nice gun. You see that arrow on it, that means it's modified. Ooh. That is a rapid fire AK. You'd think it's already rapid fire, but no. It's not rapid fiery enough. <sighs> wow. It always bugged me that it's, like, next to another AK where it's just like, okay, you could have the AK, the glory of our country, or you could have the modified one that's better. I'm not your dad. So here's how guns work. There is semi-automatic, fully automatic, and then overwhelmingly automatic. <laughs> 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 Those kind of guns just don't stop shooting. You don't pull the trigger, they're just always firing. Did the- what? They just despawned. Okay. Here's what we came for. Another USB. But that's not the last secret here. There's some more boxes to destroy. Oh, and now I'm hungry. I just realized there's kind of a technology clash here, just because, like, you have the really goofy, like, early 2000s PDAs, but you also have USB drop. Uh, what? Secret, even better armor upgrade. 
Oh, no, 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 yeah, that's there. I forgot. I actually forgot about that. It is much better than just a jacket. It's like proper armor. It looks like a mask. I think it's supposed to be like padded on, like, imagine like America's typical armor with the flak jacket vest and all that, but also like a rebreather to prevent breathing and radiation. Yeah, I just thought it kind of also looked like some kind of knockoff Darth Vader mask. It had like eyes and a fucking breathy mouth. Mark the one. Oh, fuck, I'm not even going to try to emulate that <laughs> language. I'll probably say something terrible. I thought, I thought, it sounded like you were just speaking in, like, joke. Marked one. <laughs> <laughs> Marked one, I'm choking, help. Mark one, I need the breathing mask. <laughs> Cheeky breathing. Oh, shit, how do you see me? Oh my fucking god. Why did you take the gun? You're already overweight, Thorn. I thought it might have ammo. One thing I'm learning, even though you can unload weapons, enemies don't seem to have their weapons loaded. And yet they still spawn infant. Why do you still have the... Mm. So I could sell it. You guys are over here like... Why'd you do this? Why'd you do that? And everything just looks normal to me. I don't know. <laughs> just do what you want, man. <laughs> See, look. That's rapid fire. Overwhelming. Overwhelming rapid fire. It's not a bad description. It was really good. Also, I might have been seeing things, but it looked like the muzzle flare was coming out of the left for some odd reason. Now I need to climb that staircase full of military dudes. Also, Thorne, you just don't know about Russian military training. Everyone in Russia that is trained to use guns is trained that when they die, they have to instantly eject every bullet from their gun. And the fact that they could do that while dead is why they won the... Oh, wait. <laughs> the punishment for not doing that is execution, oddly enough. Now it's time to put it to practical use. Where did they go? This place is tall. It's very tall. I feel like this AK isn't as strong as the others. Yeah, it's probably to offset the amount of bullets you're shooting out. It's the damage per second versus alpha damage logic. Basically, you know, video game design 101. Right. Okay. I just I just realized Ooh. something then. <laughs> <laughs> that was an action movie death right there. Yeah. Um, I just realized something that I'm surprised I haven't realized earlier in my life. Do any guns in real life actually make that sound? Because I only hear it in media and not in any videos. They're ricochets. They're not the... It's not the gun itself. Well, right. But still, I, ne I never hear it sound like that in any actual gunfire. Not that I've heard a lot in person, but you know. It's an interesting thing to bring up because I've talked a lot with a lot of people about sound design in video games. Where they'll do some really weird shit to emulate sounds that make people think, Oh, that's gunfire ricochet. I don't think that's the actual sound because gunfire, silencer fire, and uh, ricochet sounds are, are not the actual sounds that you would hear. If you fire a gun in real life, it will sound vastly different than TV and uh, other things. Oh, yeah. They just use different things to, like, simulate the idea that makes it evoke the thought better. Right, plus it'd be hard to record high-quality audio of actual guns without anything getting in the way. Yeah, I'd imagine, like, the high, just the high decibel levels of a gunshot alone would peak out most, if not all, microphones. Right. You could either record it outside where there's a whole bunch of other noise going on, or you could record it in a gun range, which is super echoey. Like, just download off of YouTube a video of gun sound effects. Every single one of them peaks. Yeah. 
that's not just a result of it being on YouTube. Like, you can hear from the audio, it's just flat zero. I should not be back here. This is heavily irradiated and there's nothing here. I don't know why the, like, the increase in brightness when you're near radiation is so jarring to me. I don't know why, it just makes my eyes go more... I do gotta say that one of my favorite instances of, like, sound design is, um... Actually, I'll have to hold that thought because we're doing a thing. There's a thing that's gonna happen here. This is where things get fun. Keep your ears clean. Oh? That's another friend. Hello? Ah! Jump in here and get the fuck out of the way. Because that, along with having a, a shoulder problem, is a controller. Oh, shite. He makes you hurt yourself. With mine bullets! That's telekinesis, Jacob. <laughs> I gotta say, with the sound he was making, I expected something much larger. Yeah, apologies to anyone who can hear that high-pitched whine. Uh, yeah, I think everyone under the age of 75 can. <laughs> I learned that in school. That, uh, fucking old people can't hear super high-pitched noises for some reason. That enemy is fucking agonizing to fight. He went down pretty easily. Nice facer, dude. Uh, <sighs> looks like Danny DeVito. All this blurriness, this is side damage. We don't see it very often, but that's what it looks like when your brain is getting fucked. Oh, great. The little girl on the tricycle from The Shining is coming. <laughs> Come play with us, Jacob. Fighting the controller is interesting for me because when I hear that high-pitched whine, I want other people to hear it so that they can understand what tinnitus is like. Yeah. It's like that, except 24-7. Is it that loud? No, you, you get used to it. You'd sort of drown it out. Like, most days, I don't even realize I have it, or at least I don't notice it. But, like, in that case, it's specifically right in the middle of your head and loud so you know something's going wrong, but it's roughly the same frequency. Oh, jeez. I don't like fighting controllers because alongside the high-pitched noise is just not fun to listen to. It completely, like, ruins your orientation and then, like, splits your vision, so not only are you just aiming wrong, you don't know where the fuck you're aiming anymore. But that's not technically a lab. I consider it sort of like the first. It's the teaser for when we actually get to the labs. That's where the creepy sci-fi shit really hits the fan. This was your introduction to why the zone is kind of a threat, because things like this exist in it, and they're not pleasant. And they all vaguely look like people, so you know something went wrong. Bootleg Russian X-Men, that's what this is. <laughs> <laughs> they call me Bloodsucker, what do you do? <laughs> They call me controller. What do you do? Play video games? <laughs> have no neck. I mean, have all neck. <laughs> it depends on your perspective. But no shoulder. <laughs> By the way, shoot yourself. <laughs> bada bang, bada boom. My job's done here. Bye bye. Like, I think that's supposed to be the implication. It's making you injure yourself. There's actually a mod that adds in the animation of you turning your gun on yourself. Huh. I was going to say, I wish they had that, if they're going to go throughout the effort of making a cutscene just for being damaged by him. May as well go all out and show yourself getting hurt. I might be thinking of Call of Pripyat, actually. Or at least the mod for that. I'm just, I'm just trying to think of the video I saw of it, and it doesn't look like anything that's in this game. But in the next part, we're going to figure out where that exit took us. We're still technically in the Acura Prom area, but it's in a different location. And it's going to be a, an endeavor and a half getting out. But then we're going to make our way to the bar and meet one of our new best friends. <laughs> Don't try and gussy it up, Thorne. It's a mess. This next place is awful.